The Asian African Summit opened on Wednesday in Jakarta, Indonesia. The participants will discuss new opportunities on pragmatic economic and trade cooperation while commemorating the 60th anniversary of the Bandung Conference. Sixty years ago, delegates from 29 Asian and African countries gathered in Bandung, Indonesia, for the conference to decide their own destiny and future. The conference gave birth to Bandung's spirit in calling for solidarity and cooperation, and recognizing common mission to fight imperialism, colonialism, open a new chapter in history for African and Asian countries. This year, much more countries have been joining the Asian and African conference、uh, to invigorate the Bandung spirit and facing the new challenges for African and Asia and global community. Six decades later, Asia and Africa are home to some of the world's fastest-growing emerging markets. Foreign direct investment and trade between the continents have increased tremendously, growing from 2.8 billion U.S. dollars in 1990 to 270 billion U.S. dollars by 2012. Some analysts say Asian and African countries should seize the opportunity of the Bandung Conference commemoration to further promote pragmatic cooperation and invigorate the Bandung spirit. It is important to invigorate principles agreed at the Bandung Conference and stick to them. Countries in Asia and Africa must learn to unite, while developed countries must recognize this change to the world, and developing countries should adjust to new challenges in new social era. In today's world, countries need to apply thoroughly and flexibly the principles of Bandung Conference for a goal of international relations, which are really equal and make all related parties feel satisfied. This year's Asian African Conference is expected to forge a new Asia and Africa strategic partnership mechanism and a declaration of support for Palestinian independence.